So I'd like to walk you through in a close-up view what's happening with regard to blood flow through the urinary system, as well as the formation of urine. So I'm going to start with blood flow. I'll talk about urine formation, and then I'll go back to blood flow. So let's start here. Oxygenated, unfiltered blood is coming in on the renal artery, segmental artery, interlobar artery, arcuate artery, interlobular arteries. Again, this one shows red and blue. The rest of them just show red. Keep in mind that red and blue would be on all of them, implying oxygenated blood is coming in, deoxygenated blood is coming out. So that's the pathway of oxygenated blood coming in up to the interlobular arteries. If we magnify this, same thing. We'll pick it up at the interlobar artery in red, the arcuate artery in red, and the interlobular arteries. Interlobular arteries then branch into the afferent arterial, efferent arterial, afferent arterial, efferent arterial. The afferent arterial goes into Bowman's capsule. And what do we have inside here? The glomerulus. So it's actually afferent arterial to the glomerulus, and then the efferent arterial coming out. Afferent arterial into the glomerulus, and then the efferent arterial coming out. As we look at that afferent arterial coming in, you'll notice it has a wide diameter to it. It goes to the glomerulus, and then the efferent arterial comes out. Now, again, pause on the blood and think about what happens right here at the glomerulus. This is where filtration takes place. Filtration happens right here. And what happens is filtrate gets pushed off of this blood supply and goes into Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule. That filtrate is no longer blood. It's not urine yet either. It's just no longer blood. We call it filtrate or tubular fluid because it's gonna start moving down the tubes. This is the proximal convoluted tubule. So now we're going, again, pausing on the blood, and let's go to see what happens with this tubular fluid. That tubular fluid is gonna run through one of these nephrons here. So it goes from Bowman's capsule, through the proximal convoluted tubule, down the descending limb, loop of Henle, ascending limb of the nephron loop, to the distal convoluted tubule, and by the way, this spot right here on the distal convoluted tubule is the distal convoluted tubule right here. It passes right by afferent and efferent. You'll see that distal convoluted tubule passes right by afferent and efferent. But the distal convoluted tubule leads to the collecting duct. The collecting duct takes that urine all the way out and squirts it out of the papilla. That's the same thing you're seeing here. Urine squirts out the papilla goes to the minor calyx, the major calyx, the renal pelvis, and then out the ureter. Now let's go back to blood. Afferent arterial into the glomerulus, which is what you see on this cut one here. You'll see it here again as well. To the efferent arterial, to the peritubular capillaries. Now we switch from red to blue. Okay. And at this point we have interlobular veins, which meet up with the blue arcuate vein, which go to, I'm not sure if you can see it, here we go, this blue interlobar vein, that's the same thing you're seeing here, in blue, interlobular vein, arcuate vein, interlobar vein, segmental vein, and then eventually renal vein, and this is carrying filtered but deoxygenated blood out back into general circulation.